of our pension right. committee. It's such a happy place to be. So, uh, all friends together. So, uh, we've got an, uh, although it's not a big agenda, there's some, some, some good items to discuss and review uh, t t tonight. So, uh, first of all, if we can just take any apologies.
in September, the government issued new investment regulations which were laid before Parliament on the 23rd of September and came into force on the 1st of November. In parallel, guidance was issued by the Minister um, preparing and maintaining an investment strategy statement. There's a separate paper on this agenda providing some more detail on that guidance. Uh, subsequent to that, on the 20th of October, DCLG advised that the Minister wishes to meet with representatives of each pool separately over the next month or so to respond to their final proposals. Uh, we heard today that the Northern Court will be meeting with the Minister on the 13th of December. Other than that, officers continue to work collaboratively with our pooling partners, particularly in relation to uh, alternative investments. So members are asked to, to know the report. I should just mention that I go to, uh, to meetings around the country with regards to you know, pensions and often people do come up to us and say, aren't you lucky to be in the Northern Pool? I mean, that's because we're in the North, but obviously, but some of the other pools are not, it, it's just not gelling the same and, you know, I think we're very fortunate, one, to be able to be part of this pool, but also that the officers have brought us together so well for us, so uh, my thanks to, ongoing thanks to them for the work that they've done in that. Um, okay, agenda item five is an uh, investment strategy statement. Uh, again, uh, Peter will talk to that. Yes, <coughs> thank you Chair. This report provides details of the final version of the new pension regulations and the guidance issued by the Minister in relation to an investment strategy statement. The new regulations do provide funds with a greater degree of investment freedom, although there are a number of uh, protections in place. Uh, in advance of the new regulations taking effect, uh, the guidance has been issued by DCLG. Under Section 2, uh, we set out some detail about the strategy statement. Uh, there are a number of items that need to be included uh, under Regulation 7, and they're set out points A to F uh, under section 2.3. The members will note that the authorities' approach to pooling needs to be detailed in the statement. Uh, under E, uh, details on social, environmental or <coughs> governance considerations uh, and the exercise of voting rights. Section 2.4 to 2.7, there's more detail there about the pooling of investments. The administering authorities set out their approach and the proportion of assets that will be invested through the pool, the structure and the governance arrangements. There have been a number of <coughs> to this committee on the arrangements proposed for the Northern Pool. Under Section 2.8, uh, the regulation addresses how social, environmental or corporate governance considerations should be taken into account. Schemes should consider any factors that are financial material to the performance of their investments, which include those factors. <coughs> 2.10, the government has been quite clear that uh, pension fund policies shouldn't pursue boycotts, divestments or sanctions against foreign, foreign nations that are contrary to UK foreign policy. Uh, under Section 2.11, notwithstanding this, Funds can take into account non-financial considerations, providing they don't involve significant risk of financial detriment to the scheme, and where members have good reason to believe that scheme members would support their decision. Under Section 3, relevant risks, the, uh, there is a power for the Secretary of State to intervene uh, if he feels that an administering authority is failing to act in accordance with the guidance that has been issued. There are some protections in place around that as well. So members are asked to note the report and the statutory implications for the plan going forward. Thank you, Chair.
have specifically approached the city region authority to enter where the capital is done because we feel the, the city region particularly is able to coordinate um, not only projects but coordinate partnerships in the Merseyside area. We're not here to do it ourselves, we're here to work with our other partners, but we can bring uh, finances to projects that are viable but just have the funding. Back. And that's what we're to do. So we're happy to go with the recommendations.
the majority of these spin outs are all, all going off fully formed, which means the council retains deficit. That deficit is spread over a reduced pay payroll, which is providing obviously also pressure on affordability for council as well. These new employers are attending will also to close the scheme to future accrual, which is then obviously having an impact on the maturity of the scheme and the long term will impact on the investment strategy. We'll be moving from more retained assets.
overall, though, it's, it's a very good report, and uh, despite some of, some of the uh, ways that, uh, that the valuation has been made and some of the assumptions that have been made, I think overall the fund has performed exceptionally well. So, as, as Brian mentioned earlier, our thanks do go out to the officers and, and the investment team for putting us in this position. So, it makes an interesting reading, though, you know. Agenda item is agenda item seven, which is a, a standard item for, for this committee. Is the authorised signatories? Um, obviously, we need people to be able to sign the checks. So, is, is everyone happy with that agenda item? Is I'm happy to approve it. Or any questions on that? Yeah. Yes. set out the background to the plant's intention to become a participant in the infrastructure investment pool called GLIL, which currently consists of Greater Manchester, London Pension Fund, Lancashire, uh, West Yorkshire Pension Fund has also indicated its intention to join this arrangement. We've concluded our due diligence on the limited liability partnership uh, and its governance arrangements. We're waiting for a tax report which has since been received satisfied with the plan report and we're close to concluding work on the legal agreement and finalising the terms of the partnership. Under 2.3, we're proposing to make a 2% allocation to this infrastructure investment pool, which will involve an increase uh, in the fund's infrastructure allocation. As part of the trial evaluation, we propose uh, making that recommendation and so we're really bringing that forward to this committee. So members are asked to note the report and to approve the proposed allocation to the infrastructure pool. Thank you, Chair. So effectively what's happened then is most of pension fund of we've put a, a sum of money into a, into a pot that will now enable us to invest in larger infrastructure projects. Um, in, in Yorkshire, 
third investment is actually in rolling stock. So Govia, which um, has had some, some bad press, is um, we're effectively for, for, we're not in it yet, but Glil is providing finance for, for rolling stock. So there's a variety of investors in there. But as the chair says, by investing either directly or by co-investing.
and leaves the property uh, for whatever circumstance. Uh, there may be an issue where uh, rents are unpaid and then we're in a position where we need to um, then re-let the property. And uh, while the property is empty, um, obviously there's still a, a liability for business rates. So if we allow the, uh, the absent tenant, if you like, to, to still keep the lease in place, then they're responsible for the business rates rather than the pension fund. So although we're talking about a large figure here, it's actually almost a paper debt, isn't it, in many respects, uh, in as much as it's, it's rents that may be due to us, but they're not rents that we've lost other than the fact that the property wasn't tenanted. Yeah, thank you. Obviously, I welcome the report. I'm going to be saving money. That's a, that's a positive. But I don't think.